Welcome back, folks, to Charge Episode Number 79. And now let's take you back at Malicious Intent what happened when we have ourselves a new XGW Ultimate Champion and the man who will be challenging him at In the House 5. So right now, let's t let's go back to Malicious Intent and let's just take a look at all that action that happened. Welcome, welcome to Malicious Intent. It is finally here for the richest prize in XGWL. The Extreme Global Wrestling League Ultimate World Heavyweight Champion. That's the long name of it. The short name, the XGWL Ultimate Title. There it is. Extreme Tony, the champion. Going to be defending his title against three opponents. And here we go. And now, oh no. What a double team maneuver. Onto AJ Cool. Now the cover. The Great D has the cover. He won. What an upset! The Great D is your new XGW Ultimate Champion. And wow, did he win it? Now the question is, who will be challenging the Great D at In the House 5? And, oh, up and over, and, and Tommy Kazarian has been eliminated. Now, we're down to these two. Man, this should be very interesting to see here. Two fan favorites here. The fans don't know who to who to side with here. Oh, what a chop. And now, man, I'm trying to eliminate Sherman here. Man, can Sherman hold on or, or will Magnum send him up and over? And, oh, there we have it. There's our answer. Jonathan Magnum has won it. He has won this 20 man over the top rope organized chaos match. And now he's gonna get his his redemption here after he decided to not cash in this rematch clause last year after losing the XGW Ultimate title. And now has earned his way back to the main event to win the, the XGW Ultimate title in the house five. The question is. Will he be the new champion come in the House 5 or will the Great D be able to retain the title? And that's where Jonathan Magnum is going to in the House 5 the challenge for the Ultimate Championship. Wow, what a match we're going to have. Another match to be added at Female Fury 4. A tag team match. Tammy and Ruby Carter will be taking on Penny Dreadful and Solero Logan. Wow, that should be a good match. And speaking of good matches, right now, Dinah Diamond on her way to the ring. They'll be taking on Crimson one-on-one. -on -one. And speaking of matches going on, Dinah Diamond. I don't know if she's going to be involved in a couple of multi-league multi -league shows that will be coming up soon. I know at the end of December, Conspiracy is going to come out, host, hosted by CCL. And Female Fury is the next show to be up. Also, también. Man, what else do I mean? Female Fury 4? Conspiracy? Of course, in the house five. Man. Oh, what a way to finish out the year. And hopefully everyone had a, a chance to have a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, we were here live in Canada in Vancouver. I know the fans are still I mean, enjoying the show here. And the fans not liking Crimson very much. There she is. Former three-time XGWO Women's Champion. Well, Diana Diamond held the title once before. I wonder which of these two will 
get the, the chance to hold another reign at the women's title. Uh, it'll be something if Dinah Diamond can win the title again for a second time, or if Crimson can hold the title for a fourth time. Then I have some time here. I'd like to give a couple of shout outs. Those two watching all the CAW forums on the XGW website, xgw.webs.com, and also facebook.com slash XGW Ocean as we start this match off with what a monkey flip there by Crimson I'm dropping the leg drop now Dyna Diamond try to get things going here and just slams her face first and now Crimson able to gather herself and wow what a DDT right, these two have been fighting here and there and nice head scissors there by Crimson and we Two of the best in the women's division here. Nice drop kick by Diana Diamond. And now what's she plan on doing? Whoa! Damn! What a plancha! And now what's she gonna do here? Now going back in the ring. And now both these ladies back in the ring. And what a takedown there by Diana Diamond. Try to stay on top of these battle. Crimson that was it. And and now Crimson. Oh nice counter to a go behind. And now what else are we gonna see here? Dyna Diamond. Oh what a what a takedown. Very unique. And now what a leg drop by Crimson. Irish River to the corner. Nice counter. And now Oh, misses the roundhouse kick as Dyna Diamond able to get out of the way. Now, nice counter by Crimson. And now, Dyna Diamond with a counter. And the smart job just taking her out by the legs. And just slamming her head right in the canvas. What else are we going to see here? Misses the clothesline as Crimson ducks. Nice neck breaker. And now Crimson back up on her feet. Form shot. With a go behind and now Dyna Diamond. Oh, picks up with that back suplex. And now Crimson getting back up. And Dyna Diamond just standing on top of things, but but wait a minute. And now with the chain wrestling going back and forth here. Led to a stalemate. Oh. Nice. Counter getting out of the, out of the way of that one. Now Dyna Diamond. I'll oh, take another takedown. And I'll slam in her face first into that canvas. And now Crimson getting back up. Nice dragon screw takedown by Dyna Diamond. Oh, nicely done with that over the back face buster. And now going for the pin, the cover. Two, almost three. Man, what a kick out! And now Dyna Diamond about to send Crimson to do a trip to the Diamond Mind. They don't tell me that the Dyna Diamond is looking to end it right here with the Diamond Cutter. And there it is! Wow! And now the cover. Could this be it? Two. Almost three. Wow. Crimson able to kick out. Another kick out. And now Dyna Diamond setting her up. Nice shot with that tornado DDT. And now another cover. One. Two. Man, there's a lot of fighting Crimson here. Nice European uppercut. And now a roundhouse kick. Able to connect. Collar and elbow. Dyna Diamond winning that one. Oh, nice job with the suplex. And now going to the top rope. About to go high risk. Connects with the elbow. And what's Dyna Diamond planning on doing next here? Going off the ropes. Oh, misses. And this could buy some time for Crimson. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. Crimson just got hit with, with that chop block. 
And Dino Diamond trying to stay on top of things, but now Crimson came back up. Drops in the leg drop again. Gets a piece of her with that kick. Another kick. And now Dino Diamond. Oh! What a DDT! And now what's Dino Diamond plan on doing next here? And now hits it with another diamond cutter. Nicely executed now, dragging her away from the ropes, right in the middle of the ring, and now going for the cover. Could this be it? Yes, it is. That's the three count. What an impressive victory by Dinah Diamond. A lot of toughness there. And just showing us a that she still... I mean, she has not lost a step. And just staying on top of things here. But Crimson showing a lot of toughness throughout the match. And this DDT, oh man, that was impressive. But then the exclamation point came from this diamond cutter, landing for a second time. And then Dino Diamond with the pin. And it was pretty much academic after that di second diamond cutter. But nevertheless, a great victory by Dinah Diamond. I mean, I can't wait for Female Fury 4 to get started. I know it's going to be live from Los Angeles, California. And a lot of the CAW is going to be taking part of that. Should be good to see you now. Let's take you to the backstage area. Lindsay Hammond interviewing Sarah Warfield. Strong words there from Sarah Warfield. But anyways, gotta take a commercial break, but we come back. We'll be our main event. Six-man tag team action coming up next. 